Good morning once again from Guy Mitchell Moore here at Think Space Education um, with yet another fresh cup of coffee. Now, uh, I want to pass on a little tip which can make life a lot easier. I might be the last person in the world to have worked this out, so I'd forgive me if you already have sussed this yourselves, but it's to do with um, fixed time samples, things like timp rolls, uh, symbol crescendi, uh, things like this which need to reach a certain point, um, like this sample here from the truly wonderful um, uh, True Strike from Project Sam. Here it comes. So it's a, it's a crescendo, but how do you get that crescendo to fall exactly on the downbeat where you want it? So if, for example, we try and put it on the downbeat two bars in, that's miles off, okay, so let's make it a bit later. Still miles off. What am I doing? It's early in the morning, forgive me. That's nearly there. But how near is near? There's a better way of doing this. The better way of doing this, uh, I think, um, is to bounce that to audio. If we come down the bottom of uh, this uh, epic template, as aforementioned before, uh, here are some audio. So look, if you bounce it to audio, you can sort of line it up like that and really see where the crescendo is going to peak. A bit earlier. It's easier to move it around. And if you wanted to lay in, for example, a cymbal at the same time, so you have your big epic moment and it goes fit together. But it's even better than that because if you're using, for example, uh, where is there? If you use a choked symbol, where in the real world you have to imagine um, uh, a percussionist, as soon as he's done his little crescendo, grabbing hold of the symbol and stopping it ringing, okay, which is a really nice effect. Um, okay, listen to it but the timpani rings on. But because it's audio, we can chop it off. Not very natural. Drag it out. But you see where this is coming from. Um, and that's not a sample you'll find um, very easily. Um, it's damped timpani rolls I, I'm, is not something I've come across. Um, but it works with lots and lots of things. And I've got one more example down here. Um, have you all got damage um, from heavy officity? Uh, they've got some absolute... You should have. It's really, really good. Um, they've got some really, really good... Uh, this isn't going to go with this symbol, but... One goes on. So let's put the other... Let's, they do these... Is that great? Isn't that wonderful? And they do some which are crescendos and some which are just um, little swells like that. <clears throat> but you don't need always to... I mean, with things like that where there's no specific pitch, um, we tend to bounce them out and put them in a little folder and use them as a library. Um, with things like uh, the True Strike, I mean, with Timp stuff, um, because it's pitched, it's a little bit harder. And um, also, the other thing, and the reason I really like Project Sam is... That they have that their all their timp rolls and all their stuff is really velocity sensitive. So if you go, it's you you really hear. It only ever gets up to mezzo piano, mezzo forte. So you've got a lot of flexibility there, which is a really good thing. But if you if you want to get that sort of epic sort of hit absolutely right, this is the way to tighten it up, or at least it is for me. Now you're all going, oh God, we knew that months ago. Well, in which case I've now joined your exclusive little club. Hope you'll join me again next time. From now, bye-bye.